Photos and sensors are electronic devices that you can use to manage indoor and outdoor lighting. These sensors help you automatically to turn on lights when it gets dark and vice versa. In this short video, we are gonna learn how to connect photocell switch to lighting system. Consider subscribing to Electric and Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Photocell sensor detects the illumination levels, so be sure that the sensor is not covered or the photocell switch will sense the dark all the time. The photocell switch has three pins, input pin, neutral pin, and output pin. Bring an AC source and the lamp. Connect the line to the input pin. Connect the neutral to the neutral pin in photocell switch. Also connect it to one terminal of the lamp. Connect the output pin in photocell to the other terminal of the lamp. Inside the photocell switch, there is a normally open contact connected between the input pin and the output pin. In case of no light around the photocell, the sensor will detect no light and the switch will close. So the lamp will illuminate. When the sun returns back, the sensor will detect light and the switch will open the circuit. Super easy. Unfortunately, we can't connect a lot of lamps to our circuit because it would cause overloading on the switch. So we can modify our circuit by bringing contactor. Connect the line and neutral to the input of the contactor and the output of contactor will be connected to the lighting system. Now connect the line to the input pin of photocell and the neutral to the neutral pin of photocell and also A2 in contactor. The output pin of photocell connected to A1 in contactor. As you know, A1 and A2 is the contactor coil and be sure it has the same rated voltage of the input voltage source. Now, in case of no light around the photocell, the sensor will detect no light and the switch will close this will cause voltage on the contactor coil. So the contactor now will provide power to all the lamps you need. In the next video, we will answer a controversial question, which is the killer factor, voltage or current. Consider subscribing to Electric and Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Feel free to check the resources in the description down below. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.